So just for anyone curious about the title of today's video, I do not have a son. I mean, as far as I know. But if I did hypothetically have a son, I wouldn't care if he was gay or not. In fact, I think it would be pretty awesome. I don't think the person I'm going to talk about in today's video is a homophobe or anything, I just think that he's overthinking a bit. I also think he might be insecure. Let me explain. So I was on Reddit today, you know, dick in one hand, cheese in the other, when I came across a post on r slash facepalm about a woman talking about how her husband believes that their infant son is gay because, and I quote, he likes colors. <laughs> and you could obviously tell where these people live because of the way they spell colors. I don't agree with the spelling of colors because to me that just looks like colours, but I digress. And the woman who made this post lists a bunch of reasons why her husband believes that their infant one-year-old kid is gay. So why don't we take a look at what's going on in this post and see for ourselves if the infant son of these two young parents is gay. Not that it matters at the end of the day, I just think this post is really funny. Myself, 23, female, husband, 24, male, thinks our son is gay when he's only a year old. Some of the reasons he thinks our son is gay. He loves when the light shines through the window in a way that makes rainbows on the floor. So far it sounds like to me the husband is playing into the stereotype that rainbows are gay and anybody that likes colors is automatically gay. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I'm a big fan of art. I draw a lot. I paint. I create a lot of cool stuff. And when I was still in high school, that's primarily all the classes I took, especially senior year, I took a bunch of art classes. I guess you could say I'm a big fan of colors. So what does that make me? Am I also gay? He was curious about my makeup and has tried to take my lipstick and eyeliner. It reminds him of crayons. Okay, so essentially the kid thinks that lipstick is cool because it reminds him of crayons. That's completely understandable. Like if I was a one-year-old and you put a red lipstick and a red crayon in front of me, I wouldn't be able to tell you the difference. He generally prefers me to my husband. Look, I'm not a parent as far as I know, but to me, it just sounds like the kid's a mama's boy. He kind of latched on to the mother. Maybe your kid just likes girls more than guys. But according to you, that's gay. That confirms it. One-year-old child confirmed to be gay. He likes to help me peel bananas. And one time my husband saw him mouth the tip of it. He got angry at me for, and I quote, letting him do something that looks sexual. WTF. The kid likes bananas. What the hell is wrong with him peeling bananas? I mean, I get it. You know, a banana looks like a dick. Look, I'm not a rocket scientist. But I don't think that the woman purposely went out of her way to teach her one-year-old son how to mouth the tip of a banana. You know, that's just something I don't think normal parents would go out of their way to do. Favorite thing to do outside right now is look at the flowers that are blooming and touch them. Oh, so the kid's watching flowers, huh? He must be gay. So in my own personal opinion, as a 22-year-old straight white have an ass man, flowers are pretty cool. In fact, they're bussin' to look at. My husband thinks he likes books too much for a boy. Ma'am, was your husband born before the year 1920? What, does he think that only women read books or something? Genuine question, though. Can kids read at the age of one? Like, if so, then I must have been a very dumb kid. I mean, I'm still dumb, but like, oh my god. I was too busy ripping Barbie dolls' heads off to read a book. And yeah, I had a Barbie doll or two, so leave me alone. This isn't about me. This is about the husband and his potentially gay son. Look, I didn't care for books when I was one, okay? And even, like, five months ago, I wouldn't have touched a book with a 500 foot pole but in the last three months i've read three big ass books and i already started a new one so if i'm now up to my fourth book i must be a giant raging homosexual to this man there's also a character in one of the books that my son always points and smiles at because he has bright orange hair son's favorite color but my husband thinks he has a crush on the character i don't even know what to say to that me neither sister look if the husband ever finds this video listen i don't think your kid has a crush on a cartoon character and if he does then get rid of him before he discovers twitter and furry art Look, when I was a child, I would point at images of Thomas the Tank Engine and Pikachu and Goku on my TV screen, but that doesn't mean that I had the urge to mount my favorite cartoon characters growing up. I mean, yeah, Thomas the Tank Engine was bussin' and thick like double-stuffed Oreos, but I didn't understand the concept of loving or liking or wanting to force my balls into the Tank Engine smokestack at that age. So to me, it just sounds like the husband is pretty insecure about the possibility of his son being gay, and if I'm being honest, if I could say anything to the wife posting, I would just throw the whole husband away. Like, just throw him out and call me up. My number is I like long walks on the beach, reading, and making terrible content. Anywho, that's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, follow me on all of my social links, and join my zesty flaming hot Discord server. Links are in the description below. Have a great day, everyone. And remember that it's okay if your kid is gay.